Hi friends and welcome to week five of our summer reading club, Reading Across America. This week we're going to the Midwest and right behind me you'll see a picture of a prairie dog and he's actually on a, the Great Plains. Let's see, so you guys can see a little bit of the whole picture. Before we get started with our craft, I just want to tell you where the Great Plains are located. They start at the top of North Dakota, go into South Dakota and Nebraska, so all three of those states make up the majority of the Great Plains, and then the surrounding states, so Colorado, some into Texas, Oklahoma, and a, a variety of different states. Let's get started with our craft. And I hope you've grabbed your bag from the library, and inside your bag you'll need our prairie dog template, a piece of brown tissue paper, a few uh, puff balls, that's what I call them, <laughs> and a, an elastic string. Because, if you guys haven't guessed already, we're making a prairie dog mask. So, we also need to know what we need from home. A scissors, a glue stick, and some crayons I'll be using today to color our prairie dog. So let's get started. We're gonna take our template and we're gonna cut our prairie dog out. So we're gonna start cutting them out like so, all the way around. And we're gonna continue on. And this is what it looks like. I've also cut out the eye. So you'll need to cut out. So what I do is usually pinch right where the eye is, make a little snip right in the center of the eye and just cut it out. So if I get, get out, if you need help, make sure to ask if you need help doing this part. It can be a little tricky. Did you know prairie dogs are fast and they have sharp claws and very powerful teeth? They also live in underground burrows that are full of tunnels and chambers. And how do you know where prairie dogs live? Mounds of dirt outside their hole. And that's usually how you can tell if there's a prairie dog um, living there. There you go. You've got your mask all cut out and you've got the eyes cut out. The next step is the fun part. You're gonna grab your crayons and you're gonna color away. But we're not gonna color the whole mask. We're gonna color his muzzle, this part right here, his nose and his ears, because the rest of them, we're gonna do something special. So let's grab our crayon. We're gonna color him in like so. And I actually did it ahead of time. So here we are. We've got his no a muzzle all colored and his ears. The next step is the fun part. And this is where you grab your brown tissue paper. You're gonna take it. Uh, you can do it one of two ways. You can take it and kind of crumble it up the first way, because then it's easier to rip, because what you're gonna do is you're going to glue your, uh, your tissue paper onto the face of your prairie dog. So, or the other way you can do it is you can take little pieces of it, take your glue and kind of do, 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 and glue them like this. And you're gonna do this all the way around. You can glue big pieces, small pieces, however much. You don't have to use, if you wanna do coloring underneath it, color it brown underneath it and then glue this to add more dimension, you are more than welcome to do this, however you please. Did you guys know there are actually five different species of prairie dogs and they all belong to the squirrel family? I didn't know that prairie dogs belong to the squirrel family. Within that family, you also see chipmunks um, uh, and I believe gophers. Also, another fun fact before we move on to our next step is that they actually are what are they're very advanced because they have actually a language that's been decoded and what i mean by that they speak to each other of course they do like your dog barks 
he's talking, right? He's saying something. Well, prairie dogs, they kind of do like this. They have a squeaky call. To beep, 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 beep. And actually, that sound to you sounds very repetitive, right? It's very descriptive to a fellow prairie dog. All right, let's get back to the craft. So after you've done this and you've done all, uh, covered them up with um, tissue paper, you're gonna take your puff balls and you're gonna glue them on the muzzle, like so. And you can glue them however you want. I'm not gonna do all of it. I'm gonna show you, actually, before we move on, you're gonna take your scissors and you're kind of make, again, you're gonna fold a little bit and you don't wanna make a big snip because you wanna, on either side of your mask. And I kind of did it by the eyes. And then you're gonna take your string, your elastic string, and you're gonna file it through, through here. And this might be difficult for some of you, so make sure if you wanna ask for help, feel free. If you have a hole puncher handy at home too, that might that probably be your the best thing. There we go, <laughs> I got it, it's through. And then we're gonna do this, file it again, and we're just gonna make a tiny knot on this side, like that, as you can see. And you can double knot it. There should be enough string for a double knot. So, let me show you a finished product. Ta-da! I've made my prairie dog mask. So like I said, I've used only six um, little puff, poof balls, puff balls, but I think you get eight, eight or 10 inside. So you can actually make his muzzle a very, very fuzzy for you. So let's see, should I try it on? Let's try it on. What do you guys think? Do you think they'll communicate with me? Do you think they'll let, they'll probably say, there's a lady with a purple shirt over there. I hope you've enjoyed our craft and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.